right at the Pyramids of Giza, so it should be right there. Ooh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You wouldn't mind snapping a pic for me, would ya? Thanks a ton, hun. These are going in the scrapbook for sure. How about I return the favor with a shiny new space word, okay? Let's see what's written in the stars. Our new word is tilt. Tilt. That means to be at an angle or to lean. Like that tower in Pisa. And just like that tower, the earth is tilted too. Meaning it doesn't sit up straight, it leans. Like this, it's tilted. It's not much, but this little tilt has a big effect on our planet. At one point, the Earth tilts away from the sun. That means the top half of the planet gets less sunlight than the bottom half. Less sunlight means it's colder out. A little later, as the Earth goes around the sun, the planet tilts towards the sun. Towards the sun means more sunlight on the top than the bottom. And more sunlight means it's hotter out. Yeah. You've probably noticed this change in tilt throughout the year. It's why there are seasons. Why all you in the top half of the planet have cold, snowy winters in January. Brrr. Cool, rainy springs in March. Hot, summers in July. And crisp, chilly autumns in November. And if you lived on the bottom half of the planet, like in Australia, the seasons are opposite. And Earth isn't the only planet to have a tilt. The planet Uranus is tilted on its side. And Venus is tilted upside down. Even I'm a little tilted. <laughs> well, it's time for me to get back to my sightseeing. Until next time, ciao!